To change the coolant on your 2012 to 2016 Subaru Impreza, the first thing you're gonna do is remove the air intake. So what you're gonna do is take two flathead screwdrivers and remove the clips that hold it in. Just pop up the little middle piece and pull it the rest of the way out. If the middle clip is to separate from the rest of it, just go ahead and pull the rest of it out and you'll put it together later. The next step is to remove the air intake. Just go ahead and pull it out. And then what you're gonna do is jack up the vehicle. I recommend doing it from the right side so that you're angling the radiator towards the drain plug. Now what you're gonna do is take a low profile Phillips head screwdriver and remove the drain plug for the radiator. It, this might take a lot of feeling around trying to put it in there. It took a while for me, but eventually you'll get it. Uh, if you have a mirror, you may wanna use that. I didn't have to use it. And eventually it's gonna start dripping. And once it does start dripping, go ahead and look under the car to make sure that the drain pan that you set up is catching the fluid from where it's coming out. If it isn't, readjust it. And then go ahead and just reach down in there and pull it the rest of the way by hand where it will drain out really quickly and into your drain pan. Also make sure to remove the radiator cap so that the fluid drains even faster. As you can see, this is where it's draining out, right into the drain pan, right under the car. Now what we're gonna do is set up our no spill funnel. So the piece that's gonna go into the radiator looks just like this. And the cap is gonna look just like that. Both of them say B in my kit and may be a little bit different in yours. So that side goes in with the gasket side down and then the cap goes right over that. Now what we're going to do is grab the actual funnel and put it right in there. And now we're all set up. Now before you start putting in coolant, make sure to put the drain plug back in. It's the exact steps uh, in, in reverse of the removal. And just go ahead and take your Subaru Super Coolant. Do not use anything that you can buy in the parts store that isn't the Subaru OEM coolant because Subarus are very sensitive to their coolant. So what we're gonna do is pour in about half a gallon of the Subaru Super Coolant. Wait for that to drain down. And what we're gonna do is grab our Subaru Coolant Conditioner. The service manual calls for every time that you drain the cooling system to add one bottle of the coolant conditioner. So be sure to shake it really well as per the instructions on the back of the bottle and just go ahead and pour it in there and then finish up by filling up the cooling system all the rest of the way with the coolant. I used about a gallon and a half, um, plus or minus about, uh, I'd say about a quart because I spilled a little bit, but also um, you may have more in your system. You may get more out than I did. Um, I think I got out as much as I could by jacking up the car on the opposite side of the drain plug to try to get as much fluid out as possible. Once you have filled it up all the way, you'll know because the coolant will stop going into the radiator. Go ahead and just fill it up about halfway and go ahead and start the engine, put the heat on full with the fan on low and just let the car run. If you want, you can go ahead every minute or so, you can go ahead and rev up the engine a little bit to try to spin up the water pump and just uh, let the car bleed itself. Then go ahead and Put the air intake back in. Go ahead and go on a test drive. Um, be sure once the engine is warmed up, of course, to floor it a little bit and really get that water pump spinning to try to flush out as much of that uh, coolant as possible. Once you do that, I recommend keeping the coolant in the back of your car for a little bit because once you go on drives, just go ahead and fill it up uh, go ahead and take off the radiator, fill it up, and make sure that you have the reservoir filled up to the full line as well. 
Uh, for me, after driving it for about 20 minutes, I was able to fill up the reservoir and the radiator, and that's where it stayed. I've driven the car a few times now, and the level hasn't changed at all, meaning that I've gotten all the air out of system, heater works just fine, and the job is well done. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below, and also be sure to recycle your coolant responsibly. That stuff is not good for the environment. You can bring it to a local mechanic near you or a recycle center.